Hello, people. Welcome to this episode of Astartes Anonymous, where I have trapped these fine fellows who are akin to plague victims. We have someone who is so in denial about the schizo allegations they've become a third <laughs> voice in his head. A man so impossibly bold he blinds people on a sunny day. And uh, an orangutan who I led here with a trail of Big Macs and a stick rope and box trap. I am Aaron. Oh, thank you again. And these are my wonderful people I'm with. <laughs> thank you, Aaron. <laughs> 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 fucking I, I don't even know who's next here I'm <laughs> I thought I was two of them <laughs> I thought I was two of them honestly oh Jesus Christ you've at least got the beard Moots is, Moots is just a fucking egg of a man right uh, I'm a Dorito shaped egg man alright that's, that's my lot in life oh. so Today we are bringing you a fun episode about some <laughs> speculation as to what is inside Trazen's vault and a little bit of gaffing and goofing. Really <laughs> fucking gaffing <laughs> palm wave tonight. Ooh. Is that a promise? It's a, Wink. It's, a, it's an ultramar promise. <laughs> <laughs> Signed with a star of terror. Curse of Ra. <laughs> Shall we get our first New Year's Models of the Week out of the way? Yes, indeed. So we have two this week, as per usual. One was chosen by me this time, and the other was chosen by Moots. Hell Which yeah. one should we do first? Should we do? Should we get my one out of the way first, or do we do your one first? Uh, well, I can take the first one. This is a wonderful little... I, I guess it's an imperial guardsman, guardswoman. It's, uh, I can't see uh, what the person has, uh, a tente as they are called, have uh, called it, but it's uh, it's a wonderful little thing. Uh, I especially am a big fan of the uh, the fur on the hat and on the, uh, that's lining around the, her head and uh, the hammer. It's uh, it's a, just a nice little thing. This looks like a Soviet propaganda mini. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little uh, Necromunda conversion ah. using, I believe, a model from the Escher gang. I see. To, I see. to be a little bit Siberian? Yes, definitely. But lovely little burning effect on the end of the hammer. Uh, she kind of looks evil. I think that's the the, the very the, the real dark depths in the eyes. Mm -hmm. It's forty k. We're, we're all a little <laughs> bit evil. <laughs> There's a fair point. Fair point. Aaron alone ate a child. <laughs> he, he fucking just unhinged his jaw. Holy fuck! I was, I was low on calories wow. that day, man. Right? He was low on calories. <laughs> Aaron, how many calories are in a child? Say it's a nine-year-old. How many calories are in your average nine-year-old? Yeah, uh, rough figure off the top of my head, probably about probably about yeah. probably four to five k, I think. Really? <laughs> a nine year old? Oh, sorry, for, um, not a nine month old, a nine year old. <laughs> uh, uh, um, it's like four or five tubs of ice cream. Uh, he's thinking. He's he's really trying. He's trying. He's really trying to get the answer. <laughs> Measure. Uh, he's like, let me just look at the label real quick. Yeah. <laughs> like, measure in tubs of ice cream because a tub of ice cream is like a thousand calories. Ah. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe like twenty grand. Twenty thousand calories, ladies and gentlemen. Holy so, shit. if you are on the bulk season, Aaron <laughs> from Astartes Anonymous recommends eating children. <laughs> Honestly, like you get your you get your intake, your calorie intake, and we get rid of overpopulation. It's a win win. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Tom, can we sacrifice you to the volcano god? What do you get out of it? He wouldn't fit in the volcano, man. Um, Leave the volcano alone. What? No, we're sacrificing him to the volcano god. I'm not asking uh, anything in return. I just want the oh. volcano god to know that we're there and we're thinking of him. Oh, okay, okay. That's a really wholesome and humanitarian thing to do. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right, should we quickly talk about the second model of the week? How, how quickly are we talking about? Pretty quickly, pretty quickly. Maybe not too quickly, but somewhat right, quickly. It's a model, here it is, goodbye. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a, a chapter master done by a Wyatt. Discord user called 
Saint John Alexander or uh, Riot. R- R- Wyatt. No, it's I think it's pronounced Riot. Okay. Uh, I fucking love this. I love the green stuff dreadlocks. I love the simplistic color scheme. It's funny because y- you get a lot of people talking about how there's there's a lot of downsides to painting with dry brushing. I mean, there's some obvious upsides, but as far as models go that have been done almost exclusively with dry brushing, obviously save his face and a few red bits on the model. This is how you do dry brushing correctly if you want that to be sort of the primary source of, you know, paint. Uh, really play to its strengths. The armor looks super stony. The sword looks lovely and cold, and I've just noticed that he's actually got a wrist-mounted Volkite pistol <laughs> as well. <laughs> How did you miss that one? I don't know. I was, I was too, mm, uh, to be fair, when I was looking brain. at this initially, I was Tom, come on, too brain. fixated on the um, the head and the hair and the, the huge shield on the back and the fact that they'd reposed the Emperor's Champion, like, completely ignoring the normal pose, right? Putting the sword in the other arm and bringing the wrist down and turning it into a, a very sort of dynamic turning pose. It's a really, really great model. This thing is fucking ridiculous in how good it is. I uh, I really like it. <clears throat> I can't tell where the shoulders from. They, they look custom. Or are custom oh, they're third, the shoulders are third pie. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. I, I'm just here to show off my... Um, uh, my under knowledge regarding <laughs> but here's a quick fun one I don't know if you noticed but the homebrew is called um, Jaeger Marshals the homebrew chapter they're called are called the Jaeger Marshals yeah and if you actually have a look at his left shoulder the sword arm shoulder the th- um, 3D printed shoulder he's used actually has Jaeger Marshals embossed mm. uh, on it embossed with a few other sort Snazzy. of imperial Snazzy. things around the edges it's very cool the, the armour it's very reminiscent of your old Custodes boys, I find, looking at him. It is. A, it was oh. Same technique, same paints used. It's, you know, going for that cold color scheme. Yeah, it really works. And boss. I think he's done it a lot better, though. He's got... I think where I failed doing that color scheme is I lent too hard into the lights, and he's still got all his dark, so it just looks really nice with that light-dark contrast. Mm-hmm. Embossed. <laughs> Embossed. <laughs> Do you like that word, Red? <laughs> Mio de noche. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I like it. The Eager Marshals. I actually used to talk to the guy before we became famous. Famous. Famous in big, big fat quotation marks. <laughs> Quote unquote. <laughs> His name's Riot. He has a TikTok. He does some funny fucking memes. Shout out to that guy about that. He did one where it was the first thing I ever saw of his. He, um, it, it was him, and the, the label was as a Xenos faction just vibing, and it was um, what, what's that song with like the the drums and like I could hear it in the air tonight. Fuck, I remember that. Oh, in the air tonight by Phil Collins. Yeah, but Phil Collins, <laughs> shit, uh, fuck, I can't believe I forgot that. I'm going to be disowned by my father. <laughs> about that. And he, like, it's that. He's like, it's like, it's him, he's chilling in a chair, just vibing to uh, Phil Collins. And then the, he looks up, and it's him, and he come, and another him comes in with a gun, and just like a, any Space Marine faction, just starts blasting away to the fucking beat of the drums. <laughs> oh, that's and I'm good. like, yeah, get fucked. <laughs> Right, before we move on to our main segment, there is three quick, very quick shout-outs we need to do. Um, Three wonderful pieces of artwork that have been made this week just gone, um, as of the time of recording. Uh, Two for Moots and one for myself. And because mine came first, we'll just quickly do it. It is a wonderful, I'll just put it on the screen now, a wonderful bit of of artwork of my avatar by ExoGuy again. You'll know ExoGuy, uh, a few episodes ago, we featured ExoGuy for doing... Red's avatar uh, with Talos on his shoulder. I'll put the two side by side so you can just quickly see both of them. It's really nice. It's a uh, it's a super nice. Yet again, he's uh, just uh, uh, really gone out of his way to make uh, um, yet another banger. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, I said this before when I first saw it. Like, it's cool, but there is an air of desperation. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the the, the sort of the destroyed sort of rubble behind him and the fire in the distance it you could very clearly sort of imagine maybe a, a last stand moment going on behind the camera mm, so yeah it's mm. very good so thanks again exo guy that is wonderful looking forward to seeing what you do next can someone can someone photoshop my night lord crouching on the fucking rampart above him 
<laughs> not not a, not a moment of peace for our dear Tom <laughs> or his avatar. That, that, no, that, that, that's what happens whenever we stop recording. It's just Tom starts fucking running <laughs> to see if he can get away from me in time. You gotta stay on the move, you know. Stay ahead of the storm. <laughs> Stay ahead of the storm. That's some fucking Blark and Sun quote right there. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> fucking bury the light plays every time I get near. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on, we have uh, two art pieces for Moots. One yes. of them is a traditional art piece. Should we do that one first? Yes, yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's a wonderful piece by... Uh, I'm a factor by factor. It's uh, it's a um, a, a uh, what's it called? A uh, it's a, a drawing uh, for one. Come on, uh, words. you got words. this. God, English isn't my English. English language. Uh, we'll compensate, uh, fucker. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. You're failing. Uh, God damn, Aaron can speak English si better than you. <laughs> it's a very civilized auction, is what it's called. Auction. <laughs> auction. <laughs> auction. <laughs> so good. Uh, it's so nice. I love all the dudes' faces. I especially love the guy to the far right uh, that's under, uh, the, the second dude under. Uh, oh, no, the other guy's face is just so great. And, uh, Ooh, the goggles. Uh, yeah, with the guy with goggles on his head. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what gets me is that like, it's awesome, and I like it, but like he drew or the orcs really well, and so it's mm -hmm. low-key fucking terrifying. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sort it's, of it's vaguely menacing death dread to the right as well. Like, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh. I think the, the, the best thing about this, though, is that the fact is, obviously, listen to the podcast, and he knows that he at least knows that you and Aaron are um, regular gym goers, and that health and <clears> fitness <throat> is quite important to you. Which is why the subject <laughs> of the photo of the of the painting, the painting painting in the middle, is is two orcs doing their Mister Olympia poses. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a fucking oh. there's a most muscular going on, and a fucking rear double bicep, man. It's fucking good shit. <laughs> like. And he's got all of the anatomy perfect as well, yeah. which is just great. Behold, oh, it's all yeah, good. It's <laughs> gawking walk. <laughs> also, what, what I love about oh, this piece that is that of all fucking things, this is the one that they were saying got them out of their art block. Was this silly yeah. fucking <laughs> <laughs> orc shenanigans piece? As um, an as a artist uh, myself, I I can't imagine how drawing a fuck ton of faces <laughs> uh, and bunch of expressions would get you out of an art block. But I'm so happy for you. Because well, well mood, so, this some is people just great. have this thing called talent. You might want to check that out. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Roasted. I've, um, I've, I, I died inside. That was, uh, ouch. I didn't see the little ouch. orc holding up the um, the bid little banner thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a couple of them. There's yeah. a couple of them holding up the little My, my favorite one's going to be the freebooter with the golden teeth on the left. Like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Oh. And moving on to Moots' is next one. This is a first oh, yeah. by uh, uh, Takayaki Crochet. I'm excited for yes. this. He has actually made, and this, this image is just the, the best image we have at the moment. Um, however, obviously, you know, at the time of recording, sorry, after we've recorded and when this episode goes out, we might have a better image. So if we do, I won't air this audio and I'll just cut it out and put the good image in. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a little crochet of of moots and as you can sort of see on the thing he Ow. says he's going to do the whole the whole cast which is wonderful it's, but he's an adorable little fella isn't he it's great i i've talked to him uh, a bit and he says he's uh, started on yours tom and oh no <laughs> i have i have no idea who he's going to go with afterwards but as well as that um he, he also told me that he got contacted by someone who wanted to buy this uh, uh, little Moots uh, guy off of no! him. <laughs> no! So, so he was like, I'm going to make another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, if, uh, he buy, if, yeah. he, if, he, if he makes all of us, I'll pay him for him. And then if he wants to ship him to us. 
Oh, hell that, yeah. That'd be, that'd be hell sick. That'd be yeah. sick. <laughs> I thought that my car. Oh, yeah. uh, then the the, the, the <laughs> tiny red can watch over big red as he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall into the sulfur plant now, red. I need you alive. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's it's just a wonderful little crochet, dude. It's uh, the fella's the little it's guy. It just it's little just fella. a little guy, a little guy. Throw him in the uh, oven, and uh, he's, he's, he's in the no, not in the oven. No, very please, fun, my boy, <laughs> my son. <laughs> Uh, well, it's great. It's great. He's done done lots of uh, other great uh, little forty uh, k crochet things as well. It's uh, it's just wonderful to see. I, I and like I got both of these yesterday. And both of these nuts. I just want to uh, uh, as in had to be done. Reference. I, what what the fuck happened, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to that in a bit. But uh, yeah, no, I, I just want to say I was super, super happy. I'm, s- I am I just felt, I just want to say it's incredibly nice to receive these things. And it just makes me so incredibly happy inside every time. It's mm. uh, just, I'll, if, I, if I could, I would kiss you all. I'm just saying. You're, you're not <laughs> no, it's, it's on the mouth. Tongue included. <laughs> <laughs> on the mouth, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now what happened there uh, was um, he went, oh, I got both of these, and um, and something took over my body for half a second. Then <laughs> what? What did we get? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What did we both what? get? I have so many questions. What took over your body? I don't <laughs> yeah. Because you said both of these. Like fucking both, uh, the, both these of these nuts. Fuck you! I can't damn it. God so, damn it. I don't know how it sounded oh. on your end because I've already peaked the mic a little bit with that. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just heard you scream. It sounded like you died, and I didn't understand what happened. <laughs> uh, and just to let you all know, very quickly, since we are on the topic of fan art, we are doing uh, an episode, and it's going to come out a month from today, where we're actually going to review. All the fan art you guys have submitted, and to coincide with that, Red is actually hosting a cash prize competition on the Discord for your fan art. So if you are interested in that and you'd like to submit your own and get it shown on here or maybe just win some money, uh, then please come on over to the Discord, link in description, and yeah. Fan art. Bosh. 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 At at the end, (laughs) we will execute the winners. No, wait. No, I got that mixed up. What? Huh? What? what? I'm going to be executing Aaron Are you later. sure? No, it's oh, not yeah, that you, but Troy. That makes sense. Sorry, I got, all my, yeah, yeah. I got my notes mixed up. They're just, they're, they're everywhere. I don't, I gotta be more than this shit. <laughs> right, shall we move on to our main topic of discussion today, gentlemen? Of course, of course. Mm-hmm. I completely forgot what so, we're talking about. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We'll work it out. So, the voice is Today, over. we just wanted to have a little bit of a flap about some of the hypothetical things and real things within Trazin's vault. Trazin's museum? It's like, it is Sh- museum, it's like Schrodinger's it? cat. It's uh, Sh- Schrodinger's vault. Everything is and can be inside Sh- that vault. Sh- Schrodinger's cat? Schrodinger. Whatever the fucking dead cat in the box, you know. <laughs> I, the dead cat. The dead, I, you know the dead cat in the I, box. I heard Schlonger's cat. <laughs> Schrodinger's <laughs> cat. The great Schlonger cat. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just a cat made up entirely of like hot dog meat. That, 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 that's, that's, that's in the vault, actually. That, 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 that's, that's, he has that in the vault. Yes, God, he, he actually has that in the vault. He's he's actually already got all four of the Astartes Anonymous crochets in the vault oh, already. Somehow, yes. we're in the of vault course. actually. Somehow. <laughs> as as we record this, the fuck he picked up the space Hulk piece of shit. <laughs> I've been trying to break out, but damn, damnable Necron defenses. I've already lost several Warband members. <laughs> it's okay, they were assholes. Kind of racist. Okay, too. okay. Oh my God. Okay, so, Red, just because you know loads more about Trazin than the rest of us, because you've obviously read The Infinite and The Divine and a bunch of other Necron sacred texts i've i've I wanted to ask the data rooms. <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to ask you see red has been part of the uh, exhibition himself for some time so he has person very oh, personal oh. 
knowledge about what's inside. And Trazen doesn't know, but he forgot to activate the stasis field when I got put in here, so I've, I've just been running him up. <laughs> we are spent, live from sp- Trazen's vault right now. <laughs> <laughs> you heard live from the Black Library, live from Trazen's vault. I'm going to release this fucking croak. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone shut the fuck up, he's coming. <laughs> So I wanted to ask, Red, just because, you know, again, you've read all these stuff, all these things. What, in your opinion, like, as an in-canon that we know about, do you think is the goofiest fucking thing in Trazen's Vault? Uh, that's a hard, that's, that, that is a hard. Well, okay, pick a top three. Pick a top three or four. Okay, so just for the main fact, he has Necron tier artifacts. And mm-hmm. if you didn't know, Necrons used to be called the Necron Tier when they were biological before they became the Terminators in space. And the Necron Tier existed millions, if not billions, of years in the past. And so Trazen has like little cultural artifacts from that time still. Like little vases and canes and w- ter- tools when they were still biological. That alone is fucking stupid because. <laughs> They're so fucking old. They're older than most of the fucking sentient races in the galaxy. He has a Thunder Warrior. Mm-hmm. I don't know fucking how he got that, but he's fucking tracing the infinite. <laughs> At one point, he was on Earth during the unification, and he snagged a Thunder Warrior. Um, <laughs> Yoink. He has an entire exhibit uh, about an Orc Wah. Like, legitimately kidnapped an entire Orc Wah. And then pose them all. Now, this is the thing about Trazen: is when he captures you, if it's like a moment in history and not an artifact, he'll like turn you into a little diorama and like take the time to customize the sets. And like it, it says in the book, how he painstakingly makes sure, like even like the little ramshackle little buildings in these in these areas he captures are like one for one, just like how they were when he took them. <laughs> Like, he'll place a little vase in it, he'll position, like, the little, like, dead flower in it how he wants it, and then you'll fucking, like, you know, put the chairs in a fucking fashion. He's, he's, he's hyper fixated on that shit. He's a fashionista at heart. I, I've heard the, um, uh, the, the theory that, oh, we as players embody the Chaos Gods, but I'm pretty sure we also could very well be embodying Trazen's little uh, <laughs> collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, straight up, he, cl- he, cl- he collects everything. He ha- he collects Space Marines from all the different chapters. He um, collects races. He'll collect, like, uh, special mutants from those races. As before, he has a fucking Quark. <laughs> like a, yeah, a, a, uh, a, uh, and the, the cork in his gallery isn't even like a, a big one. It's no. a fucking foot soldier, <laughs> and it's fifteen meters tall. And in what? power armor, more advanced than Space Marines. Like, when did he... I, I guess he collected this during the War in Heaven, but I just love the idea that Trazen, during the War in Heaven, even during this time, he was like... He just saw that thing. That must have been one of the couple of first things he collected it was like yeah i'm gonna get that <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that in a box <laughs> get in the fucking tesseract vault you big bastard <laughs> f- f- fucking <laughs> he's threw his pokeball out of his like yeet <laughs> <laughs> it, it so, kind of makes sense though that he that like the idea of 40k games and people playing 40k would sort of make sense in that context. Because if you look at how goofy Trazin was and how nonchalant Trazin was during the fall of Cadia. Yeah. And how he was like, oh, I'm just going to turn up and I'm going to bring all these fucking space marines with me from the Horus Heresy. I'm just going to let them loose. <laughs> it it, it kind of just makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. He fucking yeah. releases 30k space marines during the fall of like Cadia, like 30k ultramarines. And the ultramarines like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Well, fucking imagine the 30k era fucking space marines. They must have been pretty fucking confused as well. <laughs> what, what game is it? Well, <laughs> well, well, I don't understand anything. <laughs> well, the fuck is with, 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 with that said, just imagine the, their dedication. I just, they just pop out there and like, oh, I guess we're fighting. Blam, blam, blam. It's on site. It's on site. All right, all yeah. is, lads. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the Infinite Divine, um, fucking spoilers, but you know, this is your it's spo- an old book at this it's, point. It's an old book at this point. If you ever read it, that's your own fucking fault. Um, 
he fights him and Orc can fight the Deceiver, uh, a shard of the Deceiver, which is you know the Necron god of, god of deceiving, hence the name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I would have uh, never known. he brought like five or six armies with him to fight that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, the Deceiver picks him up and like Trazen holds up a Tesseract Vault, which, if you don't know, literally looks like a Pokeball. I'm not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the receiver's like, is this another one of your parlor tricks? What's in there? And Tracer just like shrugs and goes, I don't know. And opens it up, it's blam, Gene Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> Trazen's party pokeballs. And the deceiver reacts like a man who just got spiders thrown on him. <laughs> oh no. Trazen literally just went pocket spiders. A, yeah. a valid reaction <laughs> to a bad situation. <laughs> You know the um in Skyrim, right? Do you mm-hmm. know the the wa- the Wabajack? The Wabajack. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm like 99% sure Trazen is just the personification of the Wabajack. <laughs> <laughs> or he has the Wabajack. <laughs> just like I don't know what I'm going to fight you with. It's just whatever's in this book throws it. <laughs> that's it's genius. That's just some Wabajack shit right there. <laughs> like uh what what else would he have? Um I mean he has Titans, of course. He has Wraith Titans. He has like Imperial yeah. Titans. He has Gargants and all that stuff. Um he uh, there's an animation from Bolter and Chains, whatever the fuck that shit. The, you know the PowerPoint animation GW released on the fucking <laughs> uh, yeah. streaming service? That, that, episode, that episode is pretty good. Though. It was I good. Trazen collects, d- does shit like that. He'll fucking trick people and then they'll come and he'll collect them in like the moment and he thinks it's funny. <laughs> He's like, ha ha, you've, you've imprisoned yourselves, idiots. <laughs> I'm fucking tracing the infinite, and he starts dancing. <laughs> yeah, like you have to remember that that's he doesn't just collect uh, just items, as you said. He doesn't just collect items or people. He collects moments. Mm. These guys are stuck in a perpetual moment of their life <laughs> where they where it doesn't always go exactly the same. It changes from time to time. This. How the fuck do you collect a moment? Like, imagine the sheer amount of trollery this guy <laughs> is man, going man, through. He's just simply taking screenshots of reality, right? That, that's what he's yeah. doing. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, before the fall of Cadia, he had this big-ass bell in his gallery that was apparently an Eldari relic. And it's been sitting um. in stasis. And when things are in stasis in his gallery, they, they don't fucking move. But when the uh, 13th Black Crusade started, the bell started ringing 13 times and it fucked up a mm. bunch of shit in his gallery. So he had to <laughs> fucking take care of that. He's just like, fuck! And then he got pissed off and he threw the bell into the webway. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and guess what? Apparently that bell found its way to Kamara and it's been causing the Dark Elder all sorts of issues. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm pretty sure he just threw it to camera on, uh, on purpose. Honestly, <laughs> the, the bell <laughs> rings. Crawl <laughs> breaks out as the second time this fucking week. <laughs> yeah. The bells yeah. of Camorra. <laughs> like there's some fucking dumb shit. Dark Eldar like finally sitting down for like his mandatory union break. Um, and he's like sitting at the edge of whatever the fucking shit that Kamara is, just enjoying his nice torture sandwich. And like finally, he gets a break after a long day of work. And he sits down, opens up like his little metal lunchbox, takes out, is about to take a bite, and then suddenly a webway portal opens up and Trazen's just there and just goes, Yeah, bell! <laughs> and he's just confused as the bell fucking hits him like a freight train. <laughs> yeah. his, his window opens up like an angry neighbor. Yeah! Just like... <laughs> <laughs> Have your fucking oh, bell wow. back, you piece of shit! <laughs> Half- it fucked up the gallery. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Just half for taking a bite of a sandwich. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not again. Cleveland of the fucking Jakavi. Yeah. Fucking- In the fall, he's, mm-hmm. he's called Bob, and he was two days away from retirement. <laughs> Bob <laughs> the Dark Eldar. <laughs> <laughs> um, a big part of the fall of the fall of Cadia. People notice is that uh, Trazen shows up and helps the Imperium, 
and everyone does like, oh, Trazen's actually kind of a nice neck curl. I'm like, no, no, he was he was there <laughs> no. purely for himself because <laughs> yeah. he, he really wanted to capture Abaddon because Abaddon's the one that <laughs> fucking activated that bell and he was kind of pissed off. <laughs> So he was like, you fucking dick. He fucked up my guy. You fuck it. I replaced him the battle with him. Fuck it. <laughs> and then he's just Get like, collected, well, idiot. Yeah, he's like, How, what's the best way to do this? Ah, I'll just fucking tell the Imperium I'm here to help. They're fucking idiots. The bell rings. Trazan just flips his fucking Ash Ketchum hat backwards. Right. right. And he tried really fucking hard to capture Abaddon, but never got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> and so at the end when Kadia blew up, he's like, I'll just take a consolation prize. Oh hey, Creed. <laughs> <laughs> oh I I also really like the idea of uh, as with like the bell, where it's just like Whenever he's angry about some uh, part of his collection, he just literally just throws it away. He's like, no, you've been a <laughs> naughty piece of collection. How are you you? I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Fucking no! <laughs> oh, goodness. Doesn't he have... Um... Doesn't he have that clone, that that perfect clone of Fulgrim? Yep. Oh yes, in his does. fucking collection oh, somewhere. Oh, because yeah. yeah, because he had yeah, he, he had a bunch of uh, pure Emperor's Children gene seed, mm. and for some fucking reason, he ended up being like a pen pal with Fabius Bile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, like him and Fabius Bile were going to do like cutting a deal. Um, Fabius Bile was going to give a bunch of corrupted Emperor's children, like the Marines, to Trazen, and Trazen was going to give them all this gene seed for some reason. And then at the last minute, the, uh, the Fabius Bile was just like, I changed my mind. Take this cl clone Grim. And Trazen was like, I? Okay, cool, no sweat. <laughs> no sweat. So <laughs> Dang, bro, upgrade. No stress, big chief. Fucking pleasure doing business with you, Fabius Bile. You make any more of those fucking things, you let me know. I always eat pears. <laughs> uh, uh, he, he, he has he has fab uh, he has uh, fabulous bile uh, in his contact written as fabulous Bill. His, his like, he, he, doesn't, yeah, he doesn't know his actual name. He just thought thinks that's his name. <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, fabulous Bill. I was like, that's not my name. He's like, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> so you monkey say it, isn't it? <laughs> I like to imagine he has other ridiculous shit akin to that, like um, like like the third fucking twin of a Faris Nomagon, or like the second, <laughs> or one of the missing <laughs> crime marks is fucking in there somewhere. <laughs> got fucking beta, you got beta gone twin. in there somewhere. He beta <laughs> beta <laughs> He's in there. I'm pretty sure he is a custodian. Yeah. He's just walking through. He just see some random shit like a fucking Porygon in the background floating around. Like, fucking around. Yeah, yeah, right next to his like 100% collection of Gen 1 Bionicles. Yo! Son of a bitch! Boys, we're raiding it in Trace's fucking collection. Now, this is a crusade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Mission Impossible, here we go. <laughs> yeah. the bionicles. <laughs> yeah, he has a perfectly painted version of his own model. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, He's got himself of course. in there somewhere. <laughs> Oh god! I'm pretty, he's just got. He's probably got a clone of Dan Abner in, in the back <laughs> yeah. somewhere. He just Dan he just goes to for advice every <laughs> now and then. It's not a clone of Dan <laughs> Dan Abner. It is Dan Abner. He's <laughs> just got. He's just got Dan Abner hidden in the back. <laughs> it's, it's just. This kid trades on has the uncanny ability to predict the future. He just goes up. What's happening next, man? Right, fucking cash up. Talks in like a bamboo stick, like a Chinese prison. Come on, come on, what's happening? <laughs> oh god, come on. Dan's like thirty-eight thousand years old. <laughs> Trazen, just let me die. He's like, he's like, he's like, the, he's like the fucking one hundred and thirty-eight-year-old from SpongeBob. It's just a head and a spine. Yeah. <laughs> Trazen this. Yeah, he's keeping him one of those Futurama like head in a jar. Trazen just like poking him with his staff. He's just like, come on, yeah, do something. <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for? There's something cool to happen, man. <laughs> come on, I have He's anything. got like. <laughs> do you reckon he's got like a fucking? 
full like one to one scale clone of like Oricon in there. He just uses a punching bag every now and then <laughs> to like, relieve stress. Fails against Abaddon. Oh, you can fucking get it. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of see, like, as the millennia goes by, just Trazen just with their, like, a, a 1950s, like, um, stretchy cord telephone, just <laughs> prank calling Oracle. <laughs> just, 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 you know, just picks up the phone. <laughs> Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> Trazen, I know, I know it's you, you bastard. Trazen, I said we do not eat, we are robots. <laughs> How do you keep getting my number? Wait, why do I have a phone? <laughs> so you could literally see Freight Trace in like freezing time, right? Freezing time, going to Oricon, putting like a mobile phone in his pocket, and then leaving an unfreezing time just to call the mobile phone to give him a half rate. <laughs> just to give him a half rate prank call. <laughs> I mean, Trazen did teleport Ooh. into Orokin's fucking lab and shoot him in the chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Just for well, shit. Avoid so the situation. Bro <laughs> Orokin <laughs> broke into the vault and fucked up a bunch of shit and ruined one his Harad exhibit. And then Trazen was so pissed oh. that, like, Orokin's, like, walking back to his lab all like, haha, I fucked with Trazen this time. And then, <laughs> and then he opens the door. There's straight up just a death mark sitting right there. He's just like, <laughs> oh, no. And the death mark slowly turns into tra to Trazen and Trazen just shoots him in the chest. And while Orokin's, like, in there, like, <laughs> like, dying, he's just like, I don't even have the fucking Tesseract. Act. Like, you to keep it. And gives him the finger. Well, so, so fucking. So he hit him with one of these. Is what you're telling me? He hit him with one of these. Avoid <laughs> <laughs> an awkward situation. <laughs> Three and thirty-eight. <laughs> hit him with one of those. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh sweet Jesus! Well, well, oh, right. What else it? does Trazen have? You just go. Oh, oh. In tra infinite hypercube beyond your imagination. Galleries dating profile, collecting man. endangered species. <laughs> Bio, well-built intellectual, looking for historically relevant partners, interested in long-term relationships. Not a morning person. My perfect partner, well kept, undamaged, and with the appreciation for period actor clothing styles. <laughs> uh, then calm down, bro. It was just a prank. The prank. <laughs> He actually did do that. He he, he he put he put a fucking test rack vault oh. next to Orokin when Orokin was meditating when they were working on uh, Serenade to open a vault, and mm -hmm. inside of it was a fucking brood lord. <laughs> 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 and, and, and he's like, ah, it won't kill him. It'll just fucking spook him. And then the brood lord, after three years, opened. Orokin was down there meditating for three years, mm -hmm. and then. <laughs> Or and then the fucking pops up and starts mauling the shit out of Oricon. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? And he rips off his arm and the fucking broodlord scampers away. And later he's like, Trayson, you son of a bitch. I know it was you and you could have killed me. And then he's like, no, no. If I wanted to kill you, I would have put three. <laughs> <laughs> and, and later on, oh that God. rude lord breaks out onto the planet and starts a gene stealer cult. Oh God, whoops! <laughs> <laughs> you know the um, the relationship between the th the three Top Gear guys or the Grand Tour guys now. Mm -hmm. You know Richard, James, and and um, Jeremy. Yeah, and you know, and some of the specials how they fuck with each other. Mm. That the way they the, the the way in which they fuck with each other is it's, it hits all the same beats <laughs> in the way in which Trazen and Oricon fuck with each other, just like times by a thousand, right? <laughs> well, it's like pushing his house down a hill on fucking wheels, or yeah, pressing the retard button and hoping he turns up. It's like mm. <laughs> you could see that though. You could see. You could see Trazen, like, taking 
uh, Orican's home and just like putting it in the sun, <laughs> you know, just just as like a gap. Just putting it, yeah. Just, yeah, putting it in it's the pretty sun. Pretty funny, right? <laughs> it's just a prank, all bro. My things were in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. Come on. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, Trazen shooting it in the chest wasn't even like that big of a deal. So if that's like the low bar. <laughs> And like sicking Gene, like fucking brood lords on you as a prank. Like the bar is pretty high. How far you can fuck with these guys? <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh. um, what else? Um, <laughs> well, I mean, we we know who the f- fucker has a enslaver or two. Uh, like, in oh his yeah, fucking collection. The fuck the, yeah. Well, you know the, the the enslavers. You know the things that killed the goddamn. Uh, old ones. Oh fuck! Right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know those pesky little warp parasites that came out uh, after the war yes, in heaven yes, b- yes, because yes. of all the shenanigans. We talked about these. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Um, he has he has a Catan shard. He has a few actually. I, I, <laughs> yeah. one from each different Catan. <laughs> but possibly, honestly. <laughs> oh. Oh. What the Sorry, Aaron just dipped into the warp for a second. No, oh, no not again. <laughs> not again. You know, it wouldn't. It actually wouldn't. I think one of you said it earlier, but it wouldn't surprise me for a second if he actually had one of the lost Primarchs, and that's mm-hmm. how we get one of them back. You know, <laughs> just breaks out of Trazen's gallery. <laughs> yeah, literally, like just Trazen forgets to lock the door behind him, and oh, Lehman Russ is back in the setting, ladies and gents. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got it's like forgetting to chain the dog up, you know. Corvus in there. Just where's my fucking parrot gun? <laughs> 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 He's loose. There, there is a one hundred percent chance that he has t- tried to capture one of the demon prime marks. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. You, we, you see, everyone thought there was Corvus, uh, Corvax, the uh, fucking Corvus Corvax that was uh, uh, going after Lorgar, but it was actually Trazen disguised as the damn <laughs> Birdman, <laughs> Lorgar. <laughs> and in the fucking Tesseract, Lord Lorgar. <laughs> it's me, your brother Corvus. He's like, where did he have yes. mask? <laughs> you unaligned piece of shit. Where are you? <laughs> It's like Ultra Ball, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's Wait, a, it, actually that's absolutely what he's going to use to capture Abute Gilliman. Yeah, <laughs> an Ultra Ball. <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be a great ball for the for the color. Actually, no, no, no that, that becomes in fists. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. U- ultra Ball, Ultramarines. Yeah, yeah, no, you, I was, I was going for the color that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, 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 but like, but besides the um, lost primarchs as the ones that disappeared, we are uh, during after the heresy. I, I have, I actually also had the theory, you know, probably the lost primarchs, like the 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 fucking eleventh and the uh, second, second, yeah. I mean, uh, we don't know. I mean, it's all up in the air, right? I mean, those fuckers could be literally anywhere, but it would be funny as fuck if, you know, you have all these theories about where they are, where they killed, where they uh, fucking, did they escape? And it's like, nope, it's just Trazen. Yeah, he has both yeah. of those fuckers. Well, yeah, no, the fucking, <laughs> the Emperor kicks the every living shit out of the 11th Primarch and, like, throws him down a cliff, and then Trazen's down there just like, you won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> he's, he's just down there with, like, a potato sack ready to put him in and whisk, whisk him away. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> he's like, he's, oh, he's like acting nonchalant about it. He's just like, oh, fancy meeting you here. What are the odds? <laughs> anyway, the what a coinky oh. dick. Whoa, 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 what's that thing you have behind your back? Oh, this little thing. It's a potato sack. Go. <laughs> he, he just has like a he just has a, like a normal ass taser. He just tases it. I'll kill tech right there, son. <laughs> you know the um, you know the dark cells, right? Yeah. We we hear all the time. I say all the time. We hear commonly enough, right? That 
shit gets loose from the dark cells and the shadow keeper custodies have to venture out into the galaxy to go like take it back but we never ever hear about anything actually getting returned to the dark cells <laughs> and that's because like the shit from the dark cells that goes missing is literally just tracing going hmm i'd like that now it's like, the custodies are just in a wild goose chase doomed to never return anything because treason's just got all of it <laughs> <laughs> yes, they forgot to lock the back door. <laughs> the POP, you look submissive and archival. <laughs> Jeez, we're, we're just gonna have a series of trays and memes on, like it's just scroll, yeah. oh, yeah. scrolling yeah. through the. <laughs> I love this shit on posting the log. <laughs> 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 Trazen posting. Trazen post. You've been Trazen post. <laughs> Welcome to the gallery. <laughs> the function will have unattended relics. <laughs> <laughs> Me every time oh, I walk man. into the fucking food. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh a fucking hors d'oeuvre plate? You mean unattended relics? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think in Kate, I think during the fall of Cadia, the Trazen starts talking shit about the Golden Throne, and, okay. he, and he's just like, "I I could keep the Emperor in better condition than you can." <laughs> <laughs> like, like he's telling like, you like some higher up like I'm totally going to fucking steal the emperor I hope you know just... <laughs> that... <laughs> he's like, he's like listen I'm doing him a favor I know how to take care of the elderly alright <laughs> like some sort of fucking retirement home for dying eldritch gods <laughs> yeah he's <laughs> gonna put him right next to the fucking Catan shard like don't worry you have a friend <laughs> he's just as dying as you are <laughs> this it's the emperor I, I feel he's gonna finally get into the golden throne and you know how like the golden throne is basically irradiated like the fucking Chernobyl reactor yeah. and it burns the skin off of anyone who works walks in right he like opens up the door and just <laughs> Yeah, after like for a second he's just like wow that's bright <laughs> and finally he gets up there he's just like my god the condition you're in what have they like been doing alcoholic opening his window fuck <laughs> like, he, like he's in there he's like where's your arm this is terrible shit <laughs> And like all the fucking custodians, oh, like, hey, stop him from touching the emperor. He's just like, ah, brood lords. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so, boys, I, I fucking told you. There's fucking beta gone in the background in that one. <laughs> <There's actually laughs> there. Yeah, there. <laughs> Do you reckon he's just got like a copy of every single like old generation like gaming console hidden away somewhere? Like, I oh, dead ass yeah. bet that somewhere in Trazen's vault, there's just a room, right? And it's just a supreme gaming room. Just the guy, guy just it's like it's like a football stadium in size, and he's just got everything in there, every game and ever made. Uh, right, he's got, got he's Genesis got like twelve N64. different VR headsets. <laughs> he's found a way to hook the VR headsets up to a fucking Atari. Right, <laughs> you know he has he made the fucking Sega Jaguar work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just playing Sonic. He's just playing Sonic Adventure Two. Just, just like a hundred years at a time. Time, right, just keeps on he, he just loves the soundtrack. You know? He has one hundred percented the original Final Fantasy seven. <laughs> he has every pop figurine. Oh yeah. Ever. <laughs> oh yeah. Jesus, now that's a fucking. I mean, that that's. I, I don't know. I'm Takes honestly. I'm gonna. Uh, that's debatable. Do you know how many fucking pop figures there are? <laughs> you know how, how many old fucking it is. <laughs> Crawled. He's at the time. Him. Oh, oh, he's gone. Yeah, I sure. swear to God. Every pop I I know. God. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking way, man. <laughs> I, I gotta check this fucking shit out. How many fucking. Like, in right pop next to them is every single are. beanie baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's the only being alive that collected every single every single one of the crazy bones. He's just got them all. <laughs> crazy oh, bones, holy oh, shit. Cra holy fuck. fuck. That hits. He's got every fade blade known to man, every arena. <laughs> he has every all the video cards and magic cards. <laughs> yeah, but he like, doesn't know the God. difference, so he just thinks they're different iterations <laughs> of the same card game. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, do, he he do, has do yet to collect has... the rule books for either. 
(laughs) 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 Fucking checks out. He has Moots' iron there. (laughs) He's got no, no. He's got every single Pokemon card ever collected ever, and just a carbonated version of Max Mofo stood next to his fucking collection (laughs) of Pokemon cards. (laughs) He's got Moots' left arm in there. (laughs) (laughs) he's he's trying to grow a second me (laughs) (laughs) he has Tom's hairline in there as well oh my god (laughs) he he really traveled back for that one you're not allowed to love that one Boots (laughs) you were no Tom like he he already did it he he, he, that's why you lost your hair in the first place oh my god (laughs) <laughs> that one fateful day when I was like, in, like, like somewhere between eighteen and nineteen, I'm looking in the mirror and I see it's going, like, uh, like a half a second before I looked in that mirror, Trazen walked in and out with the fucking hell. Like, like, Goodbye, bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, a, it's, it's an image. You're sleeping in your bed and Trazen has like a fucking microwave. He breaks the glass out of it, then like turns it on and just irradiates you. Oh my god! Like, it was like mine. Like, when it came to mind, like a poorly drawn frame by frame animation of Tom getting stabbed in the back alley by Trezan, warping in behind him, <laughs> taking his hair, <laughs> and holding back in the portal, and even to bleed out. It's oh. the only thing that fucking came to mind. Yeah, yeah, Trezan just uh, fucking uh, cracks him over the head with a crowbar. He's like, <laughs> <"Argh!"> <laughs> It's like it's like one of it's like one of those scenes that like one of the scenes from Inglorious Bastards. Like, it's like I'm gonna collect a scalp. Yeah. <laughs> Nox 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 just pulls out a small knife and just gets to work. You know, Trazen has all the uh, historical relics the British stole from around the world. Oh my god! <laughs> he's probably just got. He's probably actually dead ass. He almost certainly has like a one to one recreation of the um, the British Museum. Mm. Yeah, holy shit! You know, shit. The, the actual whole thing is just perfect. He you has know? Queen Elizabeth's fucking calcified corpse <laughs> sitting upon a throne. <laughs> he's got the he's got the Epstein flight list in there as well. Oh. He's actually. <laughs> 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 Do you know why? Do you know why he has Epstein's flight list? Oh no! Because oh, because he's on it. <laughs> do, you, do you know who else is on it? Oh, who else? Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> and, that's, and that's why they don't get along. Oh my god! <laughs> Christ. Uh, so there, there's a fun theory, right? To go off that, there's, there's a fun theory me and uh, Zarek, our friend Zarek, have came up with, is that the reason Orkin and Trazen hate each other so much is because the other one thinks the other are is responsible for their biotransference, because like uh, Orkin mm-hmm. thinks Trazen dragged him into the ah. furnace, and Trazen thinks Orkin dragged him into the furnace, but <laughs> Z- me and Zarek were like, yeah. Zarek told like, no, what if they were so defiant against the Catan because they were actually a couple that the Catan did? It's like, you know what, fuck you. You hate each other now. And you'll never know, fuckers. <laughs> that's, that's so tragic, though. Damn. Well, like, it, it is oh. absolutely within the realm of possibility with oh. how fucking petty these celestial entities can be. That's true. Just these That's two true. old fuckers hate, like, like, are so defiant. Just like, you know what? You're both going in there, right? And you're going to be fucking mortal enemies, okay? That's how this is going to play out, you little fucks. Into the fucking fires. I think I saw a meme somewhere which is like, if... Uh, if you have a rivalry that's been going on for more than 10,000 years, you're no longer uh, rivals, you're lovers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's scary is me and Tom are getting to that benchmark soon. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, when's the I'd fucking like it, wedding? I'd like it on the record that Aaron suggested that, not me. <laughs> I think my girlfriend might have a problem with that one, buddy. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we all saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's pretty much just who did you see coming? Hmm? I mean, you want specifics? <laughs> well, if you saw someone coming, I mean, mm, 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 mm. 
Oh, fucking that's a no. Peeping, Oregon peeping definitely baby. has every porno made like known to me. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ban <laughs> both of you for rule three. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely just got his fucking his room with the little eighteen plus cables in front of it. You walk in, it's every single fucking thing known to man. VHS to DVD, <laughs> USB. Yeah, that. <laughs> Trazen's just got hidden away the entire Bad Dragon collection <laughs> just in a room somewhere. What, what, what's, what's like the biggest byte, like terabyte, megabyte? What's the biggest one a you pentabyte. could possibly have? What one? Um, it's called a pentabyte. I think at the moment, there are things that are bigger, but they're not. They're kind of theoretical. I don't think anyone actually has anything bigger than a petabyte. He's just got like fucking seven different petabytes full of fucking porn. It's it's there, man. <laughs> it's just all the. He's just, just got all, all the porn. <laughs> all the porn there ever was. He just has all of it, right? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Now we're talking oh, everything. It's called uh, a. Yo- it's, called a it's, it's called a Yota bite. A Yota bite. A Yota bite. A We got, we got, a, we got a fucking, we got, we got a diagram here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got science, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Come on. Let's see. Sorry, I'm not it's, 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 it's coming. It's coming. It's on the way. <laughs> hold on. Here, here we go. We're about to find out exactly how much pornography trades in has. <laughs> I, I, so I did a quick little here, here we go. Here while, well, uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh no, no, it's a brontobite is the biggest. A, bronto- a brontobite. <laughs> what the? They're just making up words now. <laughs> yeah, a brontobite, then a yotabite, a zettabite, an extabite. Pentabyte is the largest we, like, I think is accessible, but those fucking things are. Terabyte, petabyte, uh-huh. exabyte, zettabyte, yotab- <laughs> This is what the fuck? They, so... they went from eating terms to dinosaurs. That's that, that was, that's what the evolution of that was. <laughs> it does kind of, they do kind of sound like like dinosaur names, mm-hmm. don't they? they yeah. fucking... What's your what's your favorite dinosaur? Oh, I really like the brontobite. <laughs> 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 My favorite dinosaur is the yotabite. <laughs> I'm more of a gigabyte. I'm more of a gigabyte kind of guy myself. <laughs> Oh, Trazen, you fucking weirdo. Uh, We're still blaming Trazen on this. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, did, I did a quick Google here. Like, I, wa- I wanted to see if there was a, what like more confirmed things there are in uh, Trazen's collection. And apparently, uh, he has Sebastian Four's head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were yeah. talking about... He, like we were talking about, uh, uh, like he just has his preserved head. We were like talking about how you know he has the fucking future Futurama jar heads, but like literally <laughs> has <laughs> fucking Sebastian Ford's it's fucking real, head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I forgot he had that. The fucking guy who basically made the Imperial cult, what it is, he has that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the guy who um, uh, fucking uh, o- overthrew uh, Gojman uh, Dyer. Uh, Overthrew, yeah, goes around the <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, I, I want to know, how the fuck did he get his head? Like, th- this guy, the fucking Sebastian Four must be one of, like, his tomb must be one of the most well-fucking-protected things in fucking, among, like, all the things in uh, Imperial space. And, and fucking Trazen just nabbed his head. <laughs> the only, <laughs> the the only reasonable missing. answer is that he replaced the head before <laughs> he died and made off with the real one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like to be honest, like he 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 also tried to get the spear of Vulcan and a bunch of Vulcan's relics. Uh, yeah. Sort of yeah. Every, well, didn't didn't he yeah, every, come to Nocturne? I mean, don't quote me on this, but didn't he go to Nocturne once and get the shit kicked out? He of went him to Nocturne several and his forces times trying to do that. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Le- legitimately, fucking Vulcan Heestad is sitting in the forge, just going like fucking doing his Vulcan Heestad things, just at the forge, like oh, I'm Vulcan Heestad. Yeah. <laughs> And then Trey's in broken, and he's just like, "Give me that thing!" <laughs> and Vulcan he's just like, "Ah, oh, no!" And stabs him like three times, and then he's like, "Ah, you fuck!" <laughs> and then he's like, "Wow, holy shit!" And then like a week later, Trey's in bursts like, "Give me that thing!" And he's just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> fucking Skeletor energy, fucking Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> he just comes in, he, put, he goes out, punches the mirror on its way out. 
punches them. I, I know what you're talking about, but I thought, you're, I thought you meant like you got so pissed off he punched one of their mirrors out of the room. <laughs> oh goodness! Fine. Right, gentlemen, can we look Push at drawing this to a close? This, uh, oh man, can we? Or are we just stuck here perpetually in time, <laughs> yeah, frozen in the vault? Man, we've got nowhere to go. In, in, in oh, oh, fucking no. wait! I think we've been in this moment before. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of The Start Is Anonymous. I, like the, the only way, the only way I, I know I can beat Trazen at his own game. As soon as he walks in to do his fucking Machiavellian villain dialogue, <laughs> we all just start just ripping Tom apart. <laughs> like you're gonna do what? Sh- shock him into leaving you alone? Yeah, this fuckhead! It's like he's, he's, the last thing he expects is, is for us. To, so that, well, let's rip apart our comrade's <laughs> limbs. Yeah. That'll make him think we're not worth taking. Hmm. Well, well, no, I, he'll just freeze us in the moment in which my limbs are being removed, <laughs> you pleb. Well, 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 I think he's just at that point. He's just gonna rewind time for us again. He's just gonna, be like, he's just gonna tell us like, "Oh, you've already done this a million times." No, like, he'll do, no, no, he'll, no, he'll freeze us, and then he'll perfectly reconstruct Tom. Oh, <laughs> bit, but like, it's a great. You guys have to right spend. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake! You guys have to spend all eternity ripping me apart, and I have to spend all eternity getting ripped apart. <laughs> No, yeah, great. he just he keeps rewinding it, and like slowly we catch on. Then, like as soon as he unfreezes the time loop, just immediately just punch Tom in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey punch. Oh. <laughs> and, and unfrozen immediately. Aaron, get him! <laughs> <laughs> I know if we do this enough times, he'll get tired. <laughs> fucking FNAF style dives across the table. Just fucking... <laughs> No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a music. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that thing of the judge recently, oh. that dude just launched at her. That like, oh, <laughs> and me. <laughs> right, gentlemen, let's 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 bring this to an end here. So, oh. thank you everyone for watching. Uh, our first episode actually recorded in the new year. Live after was actually recorded. Vault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, live from Trazen's vault. <laughs> Uh, and if you stay until after the quick message from Aaron, Hello. Uh, we will begin answering the patron questions, which will be a thing that we're going to be doing from now on at the end of every single episode. So thank you all very, very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Now, okay, thank you. I hear Trazen I'm coming sure quick. Joe Get Rogan Tom. No, well. there he comes. I'm the <laughs> mm, Hello. Thank you for watching our lavish episode on Trazen's vault. If you're loving our content and would like to support us, as well as maybe get your beautiful face on the wall behind us, please consider having a look at our Patreon. We have a Discord linked below where we run events and all sorts, so please hop on if you want to chat with myself or the other guys. See you next time. MJC asks, how did you get into the hobby and how big is your pile of shame? Uh, I got into the hobby about 44 years ago now, through some buddies of mine I haven't seen in a while. And my podcast, not my podcast, my uh, part of shame, not my podcast, check it out, um, is <laughs> fucking monumental, fucking ridiculous. Um, is that that scene that like Spongebob where he's ripping the walls apart with the diapers? <laughs> Well, uh, I think I basically got into 40k when I was about 11 years or old, uh, thanks to Dawn of War 2, and uh, thanks to a good friend of mine who showed me the funny little miniatures. And uh, my grey pile of shame is uh, too darn big. Uh, <laughs> no further comments. <laughs> Wait, there's a hobby? <laughs> what the fuck? I thought we were all schizophrenic. There was no <laughs> what, 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 what hobby are you talking about? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I got into the hobby by when a friend sent me the first part of the Astartes animation, and my pile of shame is actually really small right now because I had a very honest look at the plastic that I had accruing and went, now fuck this, I'm selling that. And I sold tons of stuff recently, like before Christmas, just tons and tons of stuff. 
and I've only been left with the projects I actually intend to do at the moment. So not too big, not too bad right now for the first time in years. So that's good. Right, uh, next question. Iron Father Oxy uh, asks, what's a long-term goal you guys have, or at least hope for with the channel? Hopeful for the channel. That implies we're hopeful to begin with. Um, <laughs> 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 Shit. Uh, I guess 100k for now. Um, I'm just, I'm just here for, for vibing. Uh, all that sort of stuff's more Tom's deal, as far as I'm aware. I, my long-term goal is, uh, first off, reaching. Uh, I hope. I, I really hope we might one day reach uh, the ridiculous number of 500k subs. But uh, honestly, my main goal is uh, just to is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, just just spend time with my friends and uh, have a just good time because I love doing this with uh, my uh, my lovely friends here. I want to gain the trust of all the Warhammer YouTubers, then suddenly and surely kidnap them all, then force them to fight in the Machiavellian <laughs> Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> I want that to be blood. <laughs> That's the next episode. <laughs> uh, yes, actually, we we got Chris Grimdark half off. We captured him, and I've been feeding him nothing but meth. It the last wasn't a week. joke. We have painted them green and replaced its we, fingers with kitchen knives. Yeah. Uh, and for me, I think I think at the moment, just looking at a hundred thousand, although that feels like it, it might become a short-term goal quite quickly, and I'm quite happy about that. So long-term goals, I think same as Moots, just enjoying what we're doing and hitting the hitting the half a million would be nice. Um, I suspect that that probably won't happen next year, but if we get lucky and we play our cards right, the year after 2026. Half a million? Yeah, that would work. Yeah, I hope the, I'm hoping that we can expand into doing sort of gaming stuff and more things as a, as a team in the in sort of in this this year and and just you know just do more variety stuff and try and bring it back to the the hobby in one way or another. You know? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! What a hobby! Uh, <laughs> <pardon>. <laughs> this is the first time I've heard anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are hobbying. Damn! Oh, wait a minute! You're fucking nerds. Ha 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 ha!